Hey there, I'm glad you're here. Let me ask you something. Do your friends and family not take you seriously? Do your coworkers not think you have great ideas or you have too much of an oppressive nature? Well, there's good news. Why not start a cult? You can start your own cult in Cult of the Lamb, a land of false prophets venturing out into diverse and mysterious regions to build a loyal community of woodland followers and spread your word to become the one true cult. But it's not all business all the time. You can do whatever you want. After all, you are the cult leader. For instance, let your minions cheer as you tell them about getting your planner wart removed. Or you can have them build buildings and statues in your honor that they could drain their life force into that you can siphon away for your own nefarious needs. Still thirsty for more power? Why not skip the dishes and send a follower down to the hungry god below? Don't forget to tip me with limitless power. Did you find a great meme on Reddit, but you can't show it to your follower because they were dissenting and you've already murdered them? Why not just revive them from the dead? Then shove that spicy political meme into their face, followed up by murdering them again. A game so good, they didn't even have to pay me. So join us on Twitch this Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday for Cult of the Lamb. We'll have a pamphlet waiting for you. Link to my Twitch in the description below. Finally, a game that gets me. Speaking of getting me, today's video is brought to you by Goose Pimples, and it's titled, Five Scary Videos Not for the Fearful. As usual, I'll be leaving a link to his video in the description below. Please go over there, give him a like, and a subscribe. He works really hard on this stuff, just like my intros. Without further ado, let's get in the mix. All right, let's do it, Gooster. Poltergeist activity caught on tape. I'm ready for you. Hang on, let me put this over here. Did you know that the word poltergeist combines two German words? Polten, yeah. which means noisy, noisy and yeah. geist, meaning ghost. Gotcha. From watching our previous videos, you should know by now that the name makes perfect sense. Poltergeists are definitely rowdy ghosts. Today's scary compilation is no different. You're about to watch five of the scariest poltergeist courts on tape. That's what I like. Are to you hear. ready for your weekly Goose Pimples fix? Don't wait for a poltergeist to click the subscribe button for you. Ah, and yes, sneaky guy. Started. Very well done. Well done. Number five, Midnight yeah. Stalker. Yeah. YouTuber Daniel Castell captures this alleged real poltergeist activity. Daniel claims that the paranormal what activity kind of is real that? because there is an old rumor surrounding this haunted house. Around 12 years back, it was inhabited by supposed Satanists and cult followers. Did they summon something paranormal during their rituals? Whether it wait, 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 hold up. Are you telling me that this guy's house was like a, a cult? Satan worshippers were, were living in this house that he now rented or purchased and was just like, yeah, I'm just going to throw a mattress in here, you know, catch a few winks for the deem. Man, the housing situation is bad now, where this is just like, hey, man, what a deal. What a deal. Only three demons? Sign me up. It's true or not, we will find out. So let's watch. We know the footage is grainy, guys, but it was captured with a potato during the middle of the night with the lights off. The video starts with Daniel lying on the bed to try and get some sleep and hopefully catch some real poltergeist activity. Is he wearing and his sneakers? All begins from the point. See, dude, if he's wearing his sneakers, what is this? English? UK? Okay, anyways. Um, oh, I've got the uh, caption on. Man, if he's wearing his sneakers, he's got the right thing. He knows that this has happened before, which means that's why he's got the recording, so he could just get up, and I've always said it, the only thing you need in your ghost bug out bag is a pair of sneaks. You just need to get out, and he's ready to go if he's got to go. I'm, that's what it looks like. It looks like sneakers. These look like little sneaker treads here. Like, he's ready to get the out of there if he needs to. When the young man starts hearing strange noises, what follows is a series of spooky events. Take a look. What is that on the side? Is that his like hand pulling on the covers or something? Is 
And now there's like concrete walls. Like what? It's like f just concrete. Man, it looks like something's moving on the left there. Unless that's him. That might be him. I'm not sure. Okay. Now we're going to find out if he keeps moving. The ghost is making moves. Okay, he sees it. Now's when you just kind of slowly get up and you just leave. You just run out. Look, dude, he's got his wallet, his shoes. He's been through this before. Yeah, maybe it's the air conditioning. You know, maybe you just kind of blew the door open. Not that big a deal. Let's appreciate this guy's courage. When we experience something like this, the only thought that comes to our mind is to get the hell out of there. But this yeah. guy is a superhero. He decides to check out who opened the door. Did he find out? Let's watch. Does he live by himself? Did he say? I don't think I don't think he said if he lived by himself or not. Dude are y'all seeing this? I'm so cold. I just need the warmth it of a living being. It seems that Daniel being. did not consider that whoever opened the door may have entered the room. So, he left the room to check the source of the noises while the supposed poltergeist was calmly resting on his... Okay, this video is like a year old, okay? If somebody knows what happened with this, let me know. Because as of right now, I usually try to be rational with these videos. But this is really good. Um, and I know it's not a great camera, so I'm kind of, that's a negative. But that's really good because you can clearly see stuff happening. Let me know. Is this a stunt? Was this a commercial? For like, I don't know, like some ghost repellent deodorant or something? Like, what was this for? If it was. If not, if this is like the last thing that was ever posted, that's going to freak me out. Please let me know in the comments. It's bed. Now, it appears that the entity has left the room. Our superhero in a black vest re-enters and seems a bit scared. Yeah, see, he's looking at the door because the door keeps, like, opening and closing. Like, I left that door open. Okay. He's going to get in the bed with the ghost. Look at him. He is freaking out, man. He's like, man, something is... Dude, it's in the bed! But while others would find it hard to fall asleep in such an eerie scenario, this man decides to take a nap. However, this midnight stalker won't let it happen. Let's watch the return of the scary one. So you got all the... I, I'm assuming those are just bugs or something that are flying by. Because maybe he's got his window open. I see he's got like a fan over here. This looks like a fan. So maybe he's got a window open or something. So these are just little buggies that might have snuck in. But uh, are those orbs? I don't know. I, I don't know. It doesn't look like he's got like AC or air conditioning. Where's the light switch? Dude. Just go. 
Just go sleep in the car, climb a tree, get back to nature. Just get out of that house. He's still like, I think he's trying to rationalize it. I think he's trying to like, I don't think he's thinking ghost right now. I think he's trying to like, pretend like it's not. Cause he keeps hearing stuff. I think what he, here's what I think. I think he's going to like talk to a roommate or something like, are you hearing, like, are you, is there stuff like, are you hearing this? My lights are coming on. It's 3 a.m. and our man is still unable to sleep. That's the witching hour. Everybody knows about 3 a.m. It's gonna ramp up here. I don't know, man. This is wild. It doesn't even look like a big room. What am I missing here? Is something moving? Is that his bed? Or is that just the camera? Look, he's gonna come in, he's gonna be like, what the sh what's that? <laughs> oh my God. What got thrown? What was that? Did you see that? Now, now I'm worried I'm going to see like a face come around the corner or something. Look, here he is. He's back. I wonder if he heard any of that. He's still looking at the door. He thinks the door is what the problem is. Boy, you got more problems than a door. Look, he's just like, oh, maybe it's just, it just doesn't shut properly. Finally, he re-enters the room, and the door seems to get a life of its own again. But that's nothing, because his worst nightmare is just about to start. Take a oh. look. Okay, so heads up. He, he is... He, that's his camera. So he had to have experienced stuff before, and he's trying to get it on camera, is what I'm guessing. But... He, he really looks like maybe he's going out and talking to people like, are you hearing anything? Do you have weird stuff? Are lights going on and off out here? Like, I think he's got roommates and stuff. But it's very, it's good. Okay, so I guess the door pushed open. And now he's like, I don't know what to think. Look, see, like, you see what he's doing here? He's looking for, like, vents or something that could be blowing the door open. That's what he's looking for. I, I'm, I'm almost 100% sure. This can't be real. This somebody needs to let me know in the comments what happened to this dude. What? What? And the. 
and then the bed what slams up against the camera there's no way this is real if this is real this is this is crazy footage even for like the potato camera like he was saying that's nuts all right i'm gonna i'm gonna need a detailed report about this okay i'm gonna need a detailed report some of you might believe this to be a real poltergeist activity but what do you think what is wrong with this house let us know in the comments below it's pretty Feel good free to follow daniel castell's incredible paranormal footage and if you like it make sure you subscribe to support his channel yeah man we might have to look that up because that's that's nuts number four snatch me if you can This footage is one of the scariest poltergeist hauntings we have ever seen, and that is no joke, because we have seen plenty, as you can probably guess. This is worse than the last one? This harmless looking kid seems to be possessed, or something is trying to snatch him away. Naturally, his mum is devastated. The kid needs help, and you need to find out what could be wrong with him. Let's watch. This Wait, kid is making why is it all fuzzy all over the media due to this somewhat creepy aspect of his life. Was he being attacked? Holy! Wait! Whoa! 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 Hang on a second here. Okay, let's take out his legs. Okay, so he's got his legs. That's not impossible to do, like on your own. Okay, we're going. We're doing slow mo here. What happens to his back legs? I want to see if this leg comes up. Uh, uh, hello. His legs are coming up, man. Clearly, he is horrified and clueless about whatever. Look, look at both there of these legs. To him, but you need to tell us. Was it raw? paranormal activity footage or excellent editing skills leave a comment below with this clips where are these videos the like what what happened i've never heard of this kid before i watch paranormal stuff all the time why, why haven't is there an update was this on like a discovery channel thing what, what happened to this kid real or fake we cannot wait to know what you think about this one because it's like like spins also, around and it stuff turns out that most of you guys binge watch our videos without subscribing so, if you enjoy our weekly spook fest, subscribe to the channel by hitting the subscribe button and bell icon. It takes two seconds and it helps us big time. Number three, who's the boss? This unsuspecting cool dude enters the home like a boss and gets a taste of strange and unexplainable poltergeist activity right away. Want to check it out? Here we go. What's with these cam- Oh, okay. I thought the camera was bad again. This one's better. I still can't get used to the fact that people just keep cameras in their house now. Like, it's it's so weird to me. You know, because I grew up, that was never, like, a thing. But people will just put, like, three or four cameras in the downstairs, a couple upstairs. Like, that is, that's, that's weird to me. I mean, if you're experiencing paranormal activity, I get it then. But just like, this guy doesn't, he's just like coming home. It doesn't seem like he's experienced anything that I know of. What? Get the f out of here. No, 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 no. There's no way. No way! Are you also scratching your head, wondering what just happened to the bossy lad? Let's watch it once again and try to figure out what could be wrong.
See, the reason I don't think this is real is because of how choppy. Now, it's saying it was shot in 2016, which means it's roughly eight years ago. Um, I don't think cameras were that bad. Um, they could have been. But the fact that there's like this weird pause in between each picture seems like you could do a lot with that. But that's terrifying. I like how like he comes off the ground and stuff like that. But I don't think this is real. This is one I don't think is real. Because like that, you see that weird like, uh, it seems like you could do a lot to like take stuff out or something, especially with this older quality stuff. But it looks crazy. That's what you get for not bringing a bottle of water to your friend. Could it be the working of a ghost? Probably trying to teach this dude who's the real boss of the house or just some impressive editing skills. Yeah, we're going to go with that opinion in the comments below. It's pretty good, though. That's like something I'd see at like a beginning of the movie. Like ghost hunters go, look at this video of the house we're going to be investigating. And then we're they show that clip. Shop. We've never seen that man again. And then the movie starts and you're like, <laughs> Shout out to our channel members. We invest all of our contributions into freelancers and tools to bring you better videos every single week. So on behalf of everyone watching this, a huge thank you to our hardcore fans. Number two. Number two. Breaking barriers. Phantasma video uploaded this scary poltergeist caught on tape, showing an English family capture some supposedly real paranormal phenomena. Okay, the door opening. starts right away with the door banging open, which we still don't understand why. Do poltergeists really need to open the door to enter the room? Or are they just looking to create some drama before the climax? I don't know. I That's a question I have, Goose. I, I'm not real sure why doors have to be open. You know, I always heard that ghosts could walk through walls or that they could... Uh, uh, why do they open the door? I don't know. Are they like vampires? They got to be invited in? I'm not real sure. All I know is I would hit all my doorways with holy water... And uh, apparently they're not able to get in if you do that. Whatever be the case, this footage is pretty scary as there's not even one dull moment. Let's watch as one strange event unfolds after another. <sighs> okay. Did you hear that? It sounds like you can hear somebody walking around in there. Do you think this could be staged or is the house really haunted? Please let us know what other stories you've heard about haunted places like this in the comment section. Don't forget to follow and subscribe to Phantasma Video. See, that's, that's good to me because it's not over the top like the, the other ones. It's just like a door opens and a chair moves. And they're just like, we don't know what happened. That's good. That I consider probably is real. We know you can't wait to watch number one. But before that, make sure you click the like button. If this video reaches 750 likes, we'll pick one of your topic suggestions from the comment section. Use it in one of our following videos and give a shout out to That's pretty cool. ever suggests the topic. Also, please share this video with your friends. It gives us the motivation we need to bring you the scariest never seen before videos every single week. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the bell icon and turn on all channel notifications so you can be the first to enjoy our weekly spook fest. Here comes all right, our top pick. I want to see it. I want to see number one. Number one. one. What do we got? Of anomalies and a pause. This video comes all the way from Columbus, Ohio. It okay. was uploaded on the YouTube channel GA Paranormal. The uploader claims he witnesses shadows passing by in the hallway and doors getting slammed on him. Let's watch. Just heard something else in here. Well, check it out.
Dude, you got a lot of boxes. You might want to unpack those boxes, man. I don't know, man. You got something else? I Son of a bitch. Okay, here's the thing. I he's not focusing on the door. He only turns back to the door after it slams. Open the door, then step back. Let me see what happens. Okay, open the door. All right. Just focus on the door. Keep the door. Yeah, don't. Throw it open. Air conditioner's not on. All right, there you go. There you go, buddy. Now you got it. No, stop! What the bears are doing. The bears haven't moved. Thank God. Please focus on the door. The door's going to slam again. I got a feeling it's going to slam again. Hold up. What the fuck? It's the same thing that happened to me the other day. I'm going to probably pass this thing. I might switch over to another video. And while all this scary stuff is going on, a cat tree is thrown at him. It's gonna happen again? What are the cats doing? Are the cats freaking out? I don't see any of his cats. The cats are like, I'm not gonna be around for this spooky sh by itself. See, I, this is my problem. This is what makes me not think it's real. Not because it's not terrifying in that it, it quite possibly could be real. The problem is, is it's the same thing happening over and over again, and he refuses to focus on it. He refuses to stand there and keep the camera. So all I'm thinking is he's reaching behind him and just pulling it real quick, slamming it, and then turning around. That's what I think he's doing. Um, and it's the same thing with the cat thing. He walks by, he just grabs it, kind of pulls it, and by the time he lets gravity pull it over, and then he turns around. That's what I think is happening. Because he's not focusing on anything. Whenever he tries to enter the room, the door slams. There are so many boxes. Probably the dude has just moved to a new home and is yeah. now having second thoughts if he made the right decision because of the stuff like this happening a bit too frequent. The entire scenario looks quite creepy already and that is not how typical houses are. For sure, this guy is definitely in a messy situation. But let's focus on the podcast activity caught on tape by GA Paranormal. So what happens next? Here we go. Okay. Maybe this will do something for me. Okay. Now that thing's moving. You had well, the fan on. that's though. one naughty ceiling fan string because it totally freaked us out. What are your thoughts on the strange occurrences in this home? Some okay, so what do I think is going on? I, I don't think it's paranormal. I, I think one is when that door gets slammed... It creates wind, and that wind uh, hits its little knobby thing, and it starts moving. Plus, the fan's going, and I've had those things swing while the fan's going in houses, too, down in Texas. So I, 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 I'm not saying it's not paranormal. I just don't see something here that would make me go, oh, you know, this is definitely a ghost. I don't think that's the case here. Uh, I think maybe, maybe. There might be some shenanigans going on. There might be some backhanded shenanigans. Um, but, needless to say, it's a good start to a story. If he's planning on doing one of these internet stories or something, I'm totally down with that. You know, if he, Let me know. Like I said, this video is like a year old. Maybe there's an update to this or something. Maybe something happened. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Some of you might believe it to be real poltergeist activity, but what do you think? Let us know in the comments below. That's I just also, said that. Keep yourself updated about how GA Paranormal deals with this freaky situation. By f See, because that's another thing. The cat's not really freaking out. The cat's just kind of like, hey, what's up? What's up? You doing your spooky videos again? Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. I I'm not saying it's not paranormal. I'm just saying.
following this YouTube channel and subscribing to show some support. Well, thank you, Goose Pimples. You had a couple in there that really caught me off guard. And I'm really interested. I've really got to do some investigation on those videos because uh, there's a couple in there that I'm kind of curious as to how it ended up. And the fact that I haven't heard anything, it's not a good sign. Anyways, don't forget I left a link to the uh, video in the description below so you can go over there, give them a like and a subscribe. And also, if you like this video, please give me a like and subscribe as well. It helps me uh, get up in the morning and afternoon. Eh, I'm lying. I usually get up late afternoon. Anyways, until next time, I'll see ya when I see ya. Just see ya.